come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may share with love, with humility, and that people listen with the Holy Spirit, with love and humility. Amen, Lord, and amen. Sisters and brothers, thank you for your sacrifice. Coming here, thank you for the love in your heart just to be here every Sunday or join us online. Maraming salamat po. Tignan mo nga yung katabi mo. Sikat ba yan? Mayaman ba yan? You know, the last line of the gospel said, His fame spread throughout the whole region of Galilee. Jesus was famous. Inahabol siya, sinusundan siya. Kumbaga ngayon, marami siyang followers. Facebook, YouTube, whatever. Sisters and brothers, sa akin po, what is fame? Ikaw, mayaman ka, pero mayabang. Hindi ba din ang hindi mayaman, huwag lang mayabang. O, sikat ka, famous ka, sikat o pasikat ka, hindi ka naman marunong magpasalamat. This is what the Lord teaches us today about fame. I'm reminded of a story of a famous surgeon, hip surgeon, sikat siya. And according to the story, after ilang, every time he goes out of the operating room, another hip surgery, all the nurses, medical staff would clap and say, hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip! Hooray! Palagang sikat siya. So mga kapatid, how should we handle fame? Kasi if you don't know how to handle fame, it will handle you. It will capture you. Normal lang po that we want to be recognized. Makilala. Pero yung ambitionin mo na Ikaw ang sikat, pinakasikat, at teka muna. Sandali lang, sandali lang. So, I would like to share with you an acronym about FAME. Pagiging sikat, mayaman ka, etc. How do you handle that? Letter F, remember that whatever FAME you have is from above. Galing kay Lord yan. As long as you are grounded on that, hindi ka hilo. You don't get drunk with being famous, being popular. Mga iba kasi nahilo na eh. Don't forget, everything we have is from the Lord. Everything is made possible by God. Your achievements, congratulations. But don't forget, those achievements are little. Nothing compared to the blessings God has given to you. So don't you forget it. Hanggat nasasabi mo, Lord, ang lahat ng ito galing po sa inyo, you'll be okay. You can remain humble. Mga kapatid, it's all from above. Today, may I ask all of you, bow your head. Many of you here have done well in life, financially, career, Many of you here have done good. Today you tell the Lord again, Lord, ang lahat ng ito po galing sa inyo. I acknowledge you. You are the source of my life, the source of all my talents, the source of all my so-called achievements. Without you, I am nothing. And all these achievements and money and power, if you are not there, they are empty. They are vain useless. So today, you tell the Lord again, Lord, as for me and for my house, 
we will serve you, Lord. The book of Joshua. From above. A. Don't forget yung fame mo, kasikatan mo, achievements natin, they're all attachments lang yan. Parang attached. That's not you. Ang mga iba, yung pangalan nila, before the name, ang daming nakasulat na. Attorney, engineer, kung ano, most reverend, before the name. After the name, mayroon pang PhD, uh, SBD, maraming, ang dami pang dinagay. Okay. It's only your name that matters in the end. Titles lang yan. Attachment lang yan. And attachments are temporary. And please, don't define yourself with your fame, with your money. You're not defined. Ako mayaman, ako sikat. Hello? Ikaw ay anak ng Diyos. Period. That's the best definition. Everything else is secondary. So wag po tayong masilaw sa mga attachments sa buhay natin. Ano kaya sa lapida mo? Ilalagay mo lahat doon? Parang diploma mo? Ipangalan mo? Tapos ang dami kang achievements, ganun? In our younger days, in Pangasinan, mga diploma nasa labas ng bahay. You experience that. Malalaman ng mga tao, ah, mayroong dentist pala sila, may attorney sila, may doktor sila. Well, fine, that's okay, but again, your fame, your titles are just attachments. That's not the real you. At ano pong ibig sabihin ng fame? We don't seek fame. Mahirap po yung hinahanap mo, hinahabol mo yung kasikatan. Uh, pasikat na yan. Mga kapatid, if fame is there, achievements are there, people respect you, fine. No problem. But remember, letter M, fame, achievements, money, whatever, are for mission. Kasi, pasikat ka lang, wala ka namang mission. It's all about you. That's so selfish. That's so vain and empty. Punong-puno ka ng sarili mo. Ngunit, sikat ka, pero hindi ka sapat. Tinimbang ka, ngunit kulang sa ating Panginoon. Loaded ka, but you are not lorded. Sisters and brothers, let your light shine. But it's not your light. It's the light of the Lord. Let's compare this. Are you the sun or the moon? Mga iba, feeling nila sila ang sun. Araw, with the bright light. They want to shine with their bright light. Nakaka blinding. You want to blind others with your whatever glory you have. I think the better analogy would be analogy would be the moon. Lately, moonlit nights. This early morning, alas 5 ng umaga, nandun pa rin yung moon on the west side. Why do we like the moon? Because the moon does not radiate its own light. It radiates the light of the sun. Parang siya lang ang nagre-reflect Hindi siya source of the light. And I like the moon. It's mellow. So kapatid, sana ikaw magningning because you're reflecting God's light. And did you notice, you know, it's been like 20 years since the last time I went to see a movie in a movie house, nanood po ako ng gombursa. Pagpasok ko, naghihintay ako doon. Madilim. Akala ko may mga asher pa. 
Wala na pala, no? Yung mga usher, may flashlight. Papaupuin ka doon, ganun. You find your own seat, no? In your younger days, you go to the movie house, somebody meets you, it's very dark with a flashlight, and shows you the way, and you sit down, you have a beautiful movie. The usher. We don't even know him, her. But he or she does something for us. O pwede bang palakpakan ba din mga usher natin dito sa shrine? Nasaan kayo? Hello? They guide you to your seats. They show you the way. Ganun po siguro tayo dapat. And uh, mission kasi. And if you ask me, uh, well, I mean social media, maraming followers and all that. I don't know the implications of that, but sa akin, I'm here because of a mission. It's not for me. I wish I could go already to my hermitage and a more quiet life. But for now, kung kailangan pa, okay. I, I am in social media and people tell me something. Oh, Father, celebrity priest ka pala. Oh, no, no, no. I, I don't know about that. I'm just a celebrating priest. What I'm saying is this. I'm celebrating my priesthood in spite of my unworthiness at lahat, I'm celebrating the love of God. That's the only agenda. This is a platform. If the Lord says, it's time to go, I'm leaving, fine. Lahat po tayo, fame or no fame, let's continue to follow the Lord. That's our mission. And this is the secret. Keep focusing on Him. Ang problema ng iba, Naka-focus ka sa followers mo eh. Oh, ilan na bang follower? Are they inter... Hey, just follow the Lord and everything else will follow. Baliktad po kasi ang sa, sa mundo, you're so, we are so conscious of what people think or say about us. Kapatid, what does God think or say about you? That's your main focus. Everything is secondary. Seek first the kingdom of God, and everything will follow. Don't worry what people think or say. They will always have something to say. Mostly negative, never mind. As long as you can say, Lord, you know me. I'm doing this with love. So, mga kapatid, the last uh, ground for fame is whatever fame achievement you have, May you use that to edify. Edify people. What is to edify? To build up. Build up. Ang problema ng iba, ginamit na lahat to build up themselves. Mga shadow kang yumaman, you just built up your wealth. What for? Kung wala kang mission, what? What for? Wala lang, para feel good ako, Father, you know. Well, you who build up sana, build up people. Help people. And build up the kingdom of God. What are you doing to build up the kingdom of God? All of us. Kilala ka man, di kilala. Fame or no fame, let's continue to build up one another. Alam po nyo, naisip ko lang ko, mas mahirap, grabe yung mga they don't build up na nga. They destroy others pa to build themselves up. May mga ganun. They get going with life by stepping down on other people, destroying the name of other people. No, 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 no. Kapatid, if you cannot, please take care that you don't step down or shoot down other people so that tumaas ka lang. Bottom line, sisters and brothers, focus on the Lord. Follow the Lord. Don't worry about the followers. You're so concerned about your ranking, your rating. Maybe what we should be concerned is we are raking 
nakakadala tayo ng mga tao kay Lord. Sisters and brothers, the sun and the moon. And finally, yung word na fame. So what did we say? From above, it's just an attachment, it's for a mission, and it's for edifying people. Fame. Dadagdagan natin ng letter L yung fame. Put F L A M. You become a flame. Kung may puso ka, everything you do becomes a flame of love. Ningas. Sana po, we do it with the heart. May your heart burn with flame. Don't worry. What kind of a light? Bright light, neon light, spotlight, candlelight, firefly light, whatever it is, it's all worth it for the Lord. God appreciates. Basta keep shining, keep smiling. Uh-huh. And Ang hirap naman mga senior makakausap na hindi makuha yung mga lyrics. One more time. Keep shining. That's what waves are for in good times, in bad times. Evermore. That's what flames are for. Yun na lang kayo. Ta-ra-ra. Come on. Ta-ra-ra. Memorize yan. Uh, <laughs> Please don't forget to be joyful flames. That's the best way to spread not your fame, but the Lord's flame. Oh, mga kapatid. Hindi tayo in spotlight. Hindi po tayo always point to someone greater than yourself. Yung asher po, noong bata kami, pagpasok mo sa madilim, pinaplaslightan niya yung daan. He lights the way. I have never met an asher who would light up his face. <laughs> oh no. Light the way for others so that the, they can see the Lord. Sisters and brothers, bow your heads in prayer. We pray, Lord, may your light shine through me, even in spite of me, Lord. May I continue to radiate, to reflect your light. And Lord, sana po, I don't block the light. At hindi sana po ako ang tagapundi ng ilaw. I end with the prayer of St. Arnold Johnson SVD. His favorite prayer. May the darkness of sin and the night of unbelief vanish before the light of the world and the spirit of grace and may the heart of Jesus live in the hearts of all. Amen. Amen.